I wish you were like, I usually do more cheese. I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Lexi here, and I'm so excited. For the first time ever, we have Jess Bryant on Let's Get Lexi. Welcome, Jess. Thanks. Thanks Thank for being here. No, thanks for having me. Yeah, you're awesome. in San Francisco. Yes. The Cubs are playing the Giants, and so somehow, some way, I convinced you to come over and give me your go-to meal. This is our favorite thing to cook after a game, like late nights, just come home, quick, easy, go-to for parties, just bring us a dip, so we love it. I love that mostly like when people come to San Francisco, you like to show them the sites, and I'm like, Jess, come over and cook me something, yeah? <laughs> it's all right, we're homebodies, so this is like what I would be Perfect. doing anyways. So. Perfect. So we have, what do we need? I put it all out here, do yes. you want to explain to them like what yes. we need exactly? So cream cheese is the base, and then we have ground beef, cheese, onion, jalapeno, cucumber, lettuce, and then just like a taco seasoning. So whatever, like mild, medium, hot, whatever you like, and then chips. So you said that you used Taco Bell seasoning though. We use, so we use Taco Bell seasoning and- I love uh, that. Chris loves the Taco Bell hot sauce. sauce. That, I mean, that's a good yes. sauce. Yes. He's got good taste. So that's <laughs> his like go-to, he always is asking like, oh, Mexican? Dish, you know, it's like our Bryant bowl. So we're always like, well, okay, but do we have the hot sauce? Do yeah. We have it? So it's a must. It's yes. a must. I'm really curious to see how the cucumbers work into all of this. Yeah. So yeah, let's get started. So I think Perfect. we just put the oven on to 350. So I'll let you take it away from here, Jess. Perfect. So we're just going to take the meat and the seasoning and cook that up. All right. So then we just add the cream cheese on the bottom. I love cream cheese, so I'm very excited. But Chris doesn't like Chris cream. doesn't like the cream cheese. So, so you're telling me before that she makes two separate bowls, one for her, one for him, one without cream cheese, and one with. But do the cream cheese. Oh it's better. Yes. And because he doesn't do the cream cheese, it's bad because I add so much to my portion. <laughs> But yeah, you just spread it evenly like on the whole bottom. This seems like something great to bring to a party too. Mm -hmm. And also like you can put this in the fridge, right? Like Yes. So yep. if I made this and I can just like munch on it throughout the week. Yes, so we love bringing this like to any times we do like a Super Bowl party or like any team like gatherings, anything like that. So yep, you just take the meat that you just cooked up, all the seasoning and just throw it right on top. This looks like a, like a really impressive dish, but like you could do. Like it's you super could, easy. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so you guys normally eat this like after games or? Yes, so it's technically supposed to be a dip, but we love it so much that we just eat it as our yeah, dinner. Yeah, you can eat the whole thing. That's probably what I would yeah. do. <laughs> That's we eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then from here we just add just shredded cheese. Do you like a lot of cheese? I like a lot of cheese. So and we'll load cheese. it up. And be like, oh, this is an interesting dish you made. And I'd be like, funny story, babe. Perfect. Just Bryant made this for you. <laughs> just for you, honey. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> and then you just take this, throw it in the oven until the cheese melts. Really, like, maybe three to five minutes. Oh my gosh, so it. fast. Yes. So okay. throw it in, just to, like, melt the cheese. All right, we just took the meat out of the oven, and it looks amazing already. Yes, so now it's just the melted cheese mixed with like the cream cheese that's kind of a little warm. We're just gonna dish them up into bowls, that way we can add whatever toppings that you want on it. Awesome. Okay. Oh my God, this looks so good. Where's your favorite place to eat in SF? So we're really bad and we just do like room service, post Yeah, that's fine. Right. Oh, we went to this burger and fry place last night. I don't even know what Super it's called. Super duper? Yeah. That place is awesome. And then we went and got lemonade next door. Oh, yeah. Lemonade. Oh, you did it right. Yes. Yeah, so we did that, just went back to the room. Yeah. There. Yeah. So, yeah. So now we just have the bowls with all that in it. And then you can add whatever toppings you want. So I usually do the jalapenos because I like it. Yeah. Like, I wish you were like, I usually do more cheese. I mean, I'm all <laughs> <laughs> and 
I do a lot of jalapenos because I love Perfect. spicy. Cool. So set me up the way you set yourself Perfect. up. I'm in. I'm invested. Let's do it. And then we're gonna do onions. Love onions. Huge fan. Red onions specifically. Red onions. Yes. And then the cucumbers are kind of cool. It's different. Yeah. But it kind of gives it that like everything else is now warm, and so the cucumbers are like the cool, kind of refreshing part of it. Okay. It's a little different than most like Mexican dips. And then there, we'll just add some more cheese. Love cheese. Why not? And then the lettuce on top. Perfect. Perfect. And then you throw some chips around if you're doing like individual. Love it. And throw some chips. Oops. And you just dip. Yep. And that's it. And then whatever hot sauce. I just throw it on top. Chris will usually like throw it on the side and kind of like dip, dip it. it. I I load it up, just throw it all on top, and use that to dip. I'm all about Chula, so. About to hot sauce this bad boy up. Just like that? Yep. All right. And just dip it. And then, yep. All right. I dip, you dip, we dip. Chris and I are real lazy. We just eat right from the bowl. All right, here we go. I got a good one right here. Mm. Mm. That is so good. This is super easy, quick, and we're almost happy. So it's like a taco, but I love the idea of dipping. Like mm -hmm. that is like, I, I mean, one of my favorite things. It's like a taco on every chip. Well done. I love the brine bowl. <laughs> I can totally see why you guys now go through straight to the pan. Mm hmm. Just do that. Mm. I could literally just do that too. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then can you give them a little bit of a history, like how your mom, yes. or Chris's mom and Chris's, Chris's aunt. Yeah, so Chris's aunt kind of came up with this dish. She does chickpeas in hers. Like how, like layers it? Yeah, so same thing, kind of like the cucumbers, like just all the toppings. Oh, I see, I see. So all the okay. toppings are a little different. So she does that. Chris's mom didn't want the chickpeas, but she likes olives, tomatoes, and instead of the seasoning that I use, like the taco seasoning, she cooks all her meat with like the jarred jalapeno jalapeno and jalapeno juice. Oh, so kind of gives it like a, yeah, a spicy, you know, we like fresh jalapenos. You could kind of change it to whatever you want, whatever you like. It's amazing. I liked it. They just like bequeath this recipe to you or they like, I mean, here you go, you married me. <laughs> <laughs> so we, it was just something that we always made. His mom makes it and it was always something that Anytime I came over, even when we were in high school, we were like, oh, can we make Mexican dish for dinner tonight? Yeah. So it just became a thing where it was that his mom would always be like, okay, so who wants tomatoes? And we'd all like raise our hand or realistic and we'd all start yelling like, no tomatoes no. in mine. <laughs> so she'd make us each our own individual like plate basically. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Wow. We should go to Chris's mom's house. <laughs> she sounds <Right>. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope you don't mind Hunter and I coming. Maybe for Thanksgiving. Okay. Hope it's okay. Uh, yeah, Mo, but thank you so much for being yes. here, Jess. Thank no, you thank so you. much for sharing the Bryant Bowl with us. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to hit up more wives to get their recipes. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Why? Because we post videos here every single week and I don't want you to miss one. And I'll see you in the chat. Bye!